हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर योर अकाउंट्स क्लास एंड फ्रॉम योर बुक डबल एंट्री बुक कीपिंग चैप्टर इश्यू ऑफ शेयर्स एंड इन माय जस्ट डेज लेक्चर्स आई डिस्कस विद यू ओवर सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड अंडर सब्सक्रिप्शन ऑफ शेयर्स सो इन ओवर सब्सक्रिप्शन मींस व्हेन पब्लिक अप्लाइड फॉर मोर बट द कंपनी ऑफर्ड लेस बट इन केस ऑफ अंडर सब्सक्रिप्शन व्हेन द पब्लिक अप्लाइड फॉर लेस बट कंपनी ऑफर्ड मोर शेयर्स सो my today's topic is all about forfeiture of shares so in simple word what is the meaning of forfeiture it is a cancellation it means cancellation of shares so forfeiture of shares means cancellation of shares when the shareholder failed to pay the calls money due then two three times company demanded the due amount from the shareholder and after that giving 14 days prior notice forfeit the shares of the shareholder now with the example see pilot limited pilot limited has issued 1 lakh equity shares of face value of 1000 each the company set up its amount on the shares as 100 at the time of application 200 at the time of allotment 300 per share on making the first call and 400 on final call mr manoj has been allotted 400 shares by the company and while the final call of rupees 400 is made by the company he was unable to pay the money for that final call the company gave prescribed time and notice to the manoj and even after that he failed to pay the money now the company can forfeit the shares of the manoj and cease to be a member of the company and loses all the rights on the shares of the shares he held so in this case the manoj who failed to pay the final call the company given the notices to the manoj but after that the person is failed to pay the amount then company forfeit the shares of the manoj and the manoj holding 400 shares of the company objective of forfeiture of shares study for feature essentially means cancellation so what so with the help of the forfeited shares the information the company knows about the current holders of the shares in the company and also gain the awareness about the new shareholder who forfeited the who purchased the forfeited shares of the company now when the said shares are forfeited the shareholder is is to be a member of the company he loses all his rights and interest that a shareholder might enjoy and once his name is removed from the register of the shareholder he also loses all the money he has already paid towards the share capital such money will not be refunded now the meaning forfeiture of the shares means cancellation of shares a company forfeit shares if it article of association allows the forfeiture if the shareholder fails to pay the call allotment money or even as any call the shares may be forfeited by a notice to a pay the amount by the specified date so the forfeited shares become the property of the company so in nutshell students for feature means cancellation of shares and it only possible if the article of association allows the for feature if article of association not allows it simply means that company don't have right to forfeit the shares from the shareholder now the next point is provision provide that the amount called must not be more than fourth one fourth of the face value so one fourth of the face value is called by the company from the shareholder not more than this amount the date of two consecutive calls must differ by its at least a month so the gap between the two calls at least one month required a minimum of 14 days notice must be given to the member and the notice has to mention the time place and amount of calls on the shares generally the company will give 14 days notice to the shareholder after 14 days if the shareholder is not willing to pay the money due to the company will forfeit the shares of the shareholder two effects of forfeiture of shares number 1 effect is the name of the shareholder is removed from the register of the member for amount received on these shares as forfeited by the company so it means ki first effect is the shareholder name removed from the registers 
register of the company shareholder members registered second effect is forfeited amount should be transferred to the newly opened share forfeiture account so in this case first effect is ki name of the shareholder is removed from the registered of the company and the second one is one more account is opened considered as share forfeiture account now the next point here is forfeiture of shares originally issued at a par so what is the entry for this only one single entry here see share capital account debited with called up amount till the stage of forfeiture so till the stage of forfeiture the amount called up by the company like suppose 10 rupees face value but called by the company only 8 then consider here 8 rupees not 10 rupees two forfeited shares with the amount received so you received the amount on forfeited shares like rupees 5 only then consider rupees 5 only here two calls in arrears with the amount not received on forfeited shares the amount here which is not yet received under calls in arrears account so again see the entry share capital account debited to forfeited shares to calls in advance let us take an example for more clarity suppose 1000 equity shares of 10 are forfeited for non payment of first call okay so 1000 equity shares non payment of first call second call is yet to be made means second call is not yet called by the company the amounts payable were number 1 rupees 3 on application rupees 3 on allotment rupees 2 on first call and the balance on the second call like see 3 plus 2 3 6 plus 2 8 minus 10 rupees 2 here is your balance is considered as final call the entry for forfeited for feature of these shares will be number 1 equity shares capital account debited now equity shares capital till called till forfeiture called so here while cancellation c second call not yet to be made so it means that face value 10 minus second call rupees 2 eight called by the company so eight rupees 1000 total number of shares multiply 8 8000 here two forfeited shares account so here forfeited shares 1000 and the amount received the person not paid first call it means rest to application and allotment amounts paid so 3 plus 3 6 6 rupees paid by the person so 3 here application received 3 allotment Six rupees one thousand multiply six six thousand here amount received from the shareholder, and the last two calls in arrears account which is not received the company not received the first call rupees two one thousand multiply two is equal to two thousand. So here the full fledged entry equity shares capital account debited eight thousand to forfeited shares six thousand and two calls in arrears two thousand. Now. how to show in the balance sheet notes to account first of all you know that the main head share capital authorized capital issued capital and subscribed under subscribed capital two points available subscribed and fully paid up subscribed but not fully paid up so under subscribed and not fully paid up less the calls in arrears and the main point forfeited shares account the amount of forfeited shares here add added so calls subscribed but not fully paid here equity shares amount less calls in arrears like in previous case calls in arrears 2000 2000 and forfeited amount here is 6000 so here 2000 deducted and 6000 added in this way in the balance sheet forfeited shares show page number 6.63 student see your sum one problem here provided for future of shares issued at a par Brindavan Limited issued fifty thousand equity shares of rupees ten each at par payable as follows: on application rupees two, on allotment rupees three, on first call rupees three, and on second call rupees two. Mahesh was allotted four hundred shares. The one shareholder Mahesh allotted four hundred shares. Give the journal entries related to the for future of shares in each of the following alternatives. So case one is provided here. if the mahesh failed to pay the allotment money and his shares were forfeited after the allotment money his shares forfeited the forfeited entry is 
share capital account debited to cause in arrears to forfeited shares so first of all after allotment so first of all see 2 plus 3 here 2 rupees application and 3 rupees allotment after first call allotted shares forfeited so rupees 5 400 person holding 400 shares multiply 5 is equal to 2000 to calls in areas the person fail to pay if the person fail to pay the allotment money so in this case the person fail to pay allotment rupees 3 and 2 forfeited shares account the person paid application money of rupees 2 400 multiply 2 is equal to 800 and not paid 400 multiply 3 is 1200 being 400 shares forfeited for non-payment of allotment money shares are forfeited after allotment therefore called up amount of forfeited share is rupees 5 per share as the share application is debited by the 5 per share now see the second cases if Mahesh failed to pay the allotment money and on his subsequent failure to pay the first call his shares were forfeited so after first call we are considering here till first call so see 2 rupees plus 3 rupees allotment plus 3 rupees first call total 8 rupees here so company considered 2 rupees allot application 3 rupees allotment and 3 rupees first call total 8 rupees so 400 holding of the Mahesh multiply 8 share capital total 3200 now calls in error see Mahesh here failed to pay allotment money so in this case only paid rupees 2 application money by the person so forfeited share account 400 multiply 2 received from the Mahesh 800 and not received here 3 rupees allotment not received 3 rupees first call not received total 6 rupees 400 multiply 6 here 2400 being 400 shares forfeited for non-payment of allotment money of rupees 3 and first call so here explanation also provided called up amount is rupees 8 so here till first call called because shares are forfeited after first call therefore share capital is debited by 8 rupees per share now the third case is if Mahesh failed to pay the first call and on his subsequent failure to pay the second and final call his shares were forfeited now in this case all the calls considered company called all till second call so here rupees 10 400 multiply 10 4000 and Mahesh failed to pay first call it means forfeited share the, from the Mahesh received rupees 2 application and rupees 3 allotment means rupees 5 received 400 multiply 5 here amount is 2000 not received here 3 rupees first call and second call rupees 2 final so here rupees 5 not received 400 multiply 5 2000 being 400 shares forfeited for non-payment of first call of rupees 3 and second call of rupees 2 so explanation C called up amount as rupees 100 per shares because shares are forfeited after second call second and final call therefore the share capital is adapted by 10 per share the unpaid calls are first call and second and final call now see the homework question students what leads to forfeiture of shares at the time of forfeiture of shares with what amount the forfeited shares account is credited straight to effects of forfeiture of share and also solve the sums regarding this from the sum number 42 to 44 plus related illustration and also refer these links for more better understanding of the topic.